Last week, there was a question about um, a lady that applied for a FASA and the house is on the husband's name. Molna said that the lady needs to leave the house. My question is, what if the wife helped the husband pay the bills? And she also asked for the FASA due to abuse in marriage. Where is her rights? Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Now comes another, they said the question comes one half, and the next time the, 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 we give an answer on the question, on the wording of the question and the question coming out. So when a person, and we are married, Alhamdulillah, you know, Allah protect our marriages, that we don't have a need to go for a fasa. Allah protect our marriages, that we don't have talaq in our marriages, in the marriages of our children and of our grandchildren. So now comes this point, Akbalul halal atalaq. The worst and the most ugliest halal thing is talak. Permissible, but it's a, a very ugly thing. So now we, as men, we must know how much the woman put into the house. How much do we owe them at the end of the day? And then we say when we want to leave this woman or the woman want to leave us, be fair. You know, at times we need to take the Quran holistically. Mm. Not certain things that we want. And suddenly, now I don't believe in this, uh, this part. Don't let your anger for the people you don't like or your enemy cause you not to be fair. Fairness is the best part of God consciousness. Salah, they just speak about Salah, about God consciousness. Fairness. Adal is the best form of God consciousness. Whether we agree and whether I like it or don't like it, rather put that fairness in front because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going, even if you have to lose this time, Allah will make you win in the, in the, long, in the long run to make sure because you show fairness. And when you show fairness, you do an attribute which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Allah's adil. Allah is fair. So whatever we do, even to those that I disagree with, even to my enemy, there should be fairness. And now it's my, this is my part that was my partner. It is the mother of my children. We should be fair, even though it comes to a divorce. So as some, another person told me, when it comes to divorce and fasakh, you know, both parties must be equally unhappy. Normally we do things in fairness, no? I say each one, both must be happy for the agreement. But when it comes to a divorce, both must be equally unhappy because it's as a win, as a win and lose, no? mm. but it's all a way losing in talak. There's no winning in talak. There's only losing mm. in talak and, fas- and, and, and fasakh. So we should be equally un- unhappy at the end of the day. And not one is happy, I won the case, and you are unhappy because you lost the case. Allah forbid and Allah protect our marriages.